guys, this is Ackley Tech 4427 here with a brand new thoughts video for all of you guys, and and yeah, just uh just like I uh, promised right about now, uh, I if I I think we are now officially on the uh, final uh, Christmas movie that I uh, that I'm. Have, of course, I'm going to be watching and reviewing uh, as uh, part of the uh, results uh, that I actually uh, had uh, on my uh, poll on the uh, community tab of my YouTube channel uh, that I uh, posted not too long ago. And trust me when I say, well, I think we're definitely uh, ending this off with a bang for sure because, my God, this movie I'm going to be uh, talking about, I think... I think it's definitely the best one I've actually uh, seen out of uh, all the ones I've actually uh, seen. It is that great. So, so uh, yeah, I guess uh, right about now, I think uh, we have uh, gone through a whole log uh, right about now. Uh, like, of course, uh, yeah, we've, of course, uh, we've, of course, uh, tackled on Lego uh, Star Wars uh, and uh, how it's, uh, and how strange and bizarre it is with, of course, uh, what it's uh, trying to do uh, in relation to a uh, life date, even though there's little to nothing uh, connecting it whatsoever, uh, but still uh, kind of left me off on a uh, mediocre run, uh, no, right about now. And of course, uh, we actually uh, managed to uh, get through not one, but two movies, which actually have Russell, uh, Kurt Russell as, of course, uh, Santa Claus, and those uh, ones actually turned out pretty good, but this one, I have to say, I think this is definitely the best one I've actually uh, seen by far, yeah. Yeah, I think we've actually gone through yeah, I think we've literally uh, climbed up the uh, scale uh, right about now, and thank God for the uh, results uh, that I uh, got on my uh, on my poll for uh, sure, because uh, we uh, somehow started off at mediocre uh, guy best, uh, and then worked our way up to good to yeah, all the way up to the top right about now to uh, just great right about now. So, and and yeah, oddly enough, it is of course another movie that is of course uh, released onto Netflix not too long ago. Though, though yeah, I think I will strangely admit it actually came out around the exact same time as uh, my birthday uh, last month. But uh, but still, hey, I think it still uh, qualifies as a, a Christmas movie, nevertheless. So technically, it counts on this one. So. So yeah, I guess in case a lot of you uh, guys uh, don't know what I'm going to be talking about, we're going to wrap things up for sure by talking about the uh, latest Christmas movie that uh, landed on Netflix uh, well over a month ago, simply known as Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey. So so uh, yeah, I guess, uh, oddly enough, uh, that is of course our uh, last movie that we're going to be uh, talking about based on the uh, poll that I actually uh did not too uh, long ago, and and trust me when I say uh, we're definitely ending ending these off with a bang for sure because I've got a lot to say about this movie for uh, sure. So, so uh, yeah, I guess it's uh, pretty much uh, what I can say right now. All right. Alright, so uh, now that uh, I've officially uh, revealed on what I'm going to be uh, talking about for sure, now I think just a little, uh, just a little uh, side note just to uh, get things uh, out of the way. Uh, first of all, I think I actually uh, didn't uh, know anything, I mean anything about this uh, movie uh, from of course uh, what I've actually uh, heard uh, right about now, but, but hey, I do want to get myself uh, fully surprised on uh, what I'm going to be uh, getting into uh, and uh, and, yeah, I guess, uh, oddly enough, uh, seeing how I have gone in the order of, of course, uh, the uh, list of uh, movies uh, that I uh, will, uh, yeah, or the uh, list of Christmas movies and specials that I would see based on uh, the uh, poll that I did, uh, I actually did place this as, of course, uh, as, of course, uh, one of my picks because I've heard a lot of great things about it, and I I am quite curious to see on how it's actually uh, going to turn out once I do eventually uh, watch it, so, so, yeah. So yeah, oddly enough, uh, I think uh, literally uh, just uh, some time ago, earlier uh, tonight, uh, I think uh, it was uh, quite a long day for me because uh, I've uh, literally got uh, a lot of stuff uh, that I uh, finished uh, working on, and of course uh, my homework for uh, one of my classes at college is uh, done, so... So, yeah, and I guess uh, for, of course, uh, for tonight, I will, of course, uh, put on this uh, movie to actually uh, see uh, for her on myself, and... And yeah, now that I've figured, uh, now that I've finished watching it all the way through, what do I think of this uh, movie overall? Well, it's kind of hard to say right about now because uh, because uh, for this being a regular old uh, Christmas movie, 
I think it is uh, exactly what it is. Just a nice uh, looking uh, Christmas movie. I think uh, with, of course, uh, something that I've uh, actually uh, seen uh, from, of course, uh, some uh, media in the past, but incorporating new stuff uh, actually uh, does make it all the more engaging. But I also know that uh, for sure that uh, it's actually been giving a whole lot of heart and soul for uh, what it's trying to do and really does uh, help out a whole lot. And for that, my friends, it is truly, for what it is, a really nice Christmas movie. Oh, who am I kidding? That movie was incredible! So, so yeah, I guess, uh, I guess if anything, I uh, know I've uh, faked you out with, of course, uh, what I've actually said, but, but, what I say, uh, but what I'm saying is actually really true. I think overall, I, I actually think it's a really great movie, nevertheless. I think pretty much everything from the uh, story to the characters to uh, the writing to, of course, uh, to the visuals and everything about this movie is just absolutely fantastic. I think with, of course, uh, trying to do something new and creative with uh, what it's trying to do, but wanted to, of course, uh, keep into the uh, traditional holiday spirit, uh, nevertheless. I think it actually does make this movie all the more amazing. I think it's actually something that I never would have experienced with, of course, a uh, with a Christmas movie like this. But, but still, regardless of what I have to say, I do think this movie is absolutely incredible. I think it's absolutely great all the way through. And yeah, and what else can I say? I think it's actually. Uh, I think, uh, I guess if anything, out of all the uh, Christmas movies and specials I've uh, reviewed uh, based on the uh, poll that I did, I think this is definitely the best one for uh, sure, and, and yeah, I think I dare even say it's, uh, I guess I could consider this a, uh, a brand, uh, probably one of my new favorite Christmas movies for sure, so, so yeah. So yeah, I think, uh, so yeah, given to everything that I say, I think it's very clear that I really love this movie hands down, so, so yeah. It's uh, pretty much uh, what I can say right about now. Alright. Now to, of course, uh, best describe on uh, why I actually uh, really like this uh, movie uh, for sure. Right? I think I might as well go ahead and talk about everything that I need to uh, talk about. First of all, is uh, mainly, of course, the story for this uh, movie. Now, now, I think I will have to uh, say, I think with, of course, uh, what this movie is trying to do with, of course, its story... I think it's definitely a really great one, hands down. I think it, yeah, I think with, of course, uh, why I'm actually uh, seeing it actually uh, revolves around uh, an inventor uh, that has, of course, uh, really well known in his uh, town, but unfortunately, uh, he uh, lost uh, his, uh, I think he uh, lost his ability to, of course, uh, to, of course, work hard on what he needs to do, and he forgot to, of course, uh, believe for uh, sure, but, but that wasn't until uh, one of uh, his uh, relatives, let alone, uh, Pretty much, uh, in this case, uh, his uh, granddaughter, uh, for uh, sure, tried to, of course, uh, decide to, of course, uh, come in and, of course, uh, help uh, help him uh, regain his belief and regain his uh, confidence to uh, start over. So, so yeah, it's pretty much uh, that type of uh, story for uh, sure. But, but I think with uh, with uh, what this movie is uh, trying to do, I think is I think it is absolutely incredible. I think with, of course. Uh, I think uh, with uh, what it's trying to do, I think it actually did an incredible job with, of course, uh, bringing in uh, pretty much uh, some uh, stuff that you've actually uh, seen uh, in uh, those uh, type of stories where, of course, uh, one guy uh, lost uh, his ways, but someone has to come uh, come along to uh, make him try again, and uh, he does. Uh, but, but at the same time, they did bring in something that is uh, new and inventive, uh, for sure, to actually make it uh, incredibly engaging. And... Thankfully, with, of course, uh, the uh, story for, of course, uh, this uh, movie for uh, sure, I think they absolutely did an incredible job with, of course, uh, doing exactly that. I think it's uh, probably the uh, best uh, story I've actually seen for a movie since, well, anything, uh, really, so... So yeah, I think with of course uh, with of course the uh, story for this uh, movie for uh, sure, I really love uh, the approach that they're uh, going for uh, with this one, and I I think it's actually uh, really engaging from of course uh, from what I have to see. So so yeah, I guess uh, if anything, uh, I think they really did an incredible job with of course uh, the uh, story for this movie, and plus not only that, I think uh, the writing I have to uh, say for of course uh, this movie. 
I think it's definitely a, I think it's definitely the best use, uh, best uh, writing I've actually uh, seen by far. I think uh, pretty much uh, everything from, of course, uh, each scene that has uh, been uh, written out to, of course, the dialogue as well. Every single one of them is absolutely crafted for sure, and I really love uh, you know, what they're uh, trying to uh, do for sure, and, and, so yeah, I guess uh, right but now on top of the uh, story, I absolutely love the movie's writing for uh, sure. I think it's actually really engaging for sure, and I really love what they're uh, trying to do. Trying to uh, take something uh, that we've actually uh, seen, where of course, uh, yeah, with uh, that type of with that type of story that I actually mentioned, but actually mix in some new stuff in addition to that. So, so yeah, I think with of course uh, what it's uh, doing, I absolutely uh, really love the approach that they're uh, going for with of course uh, this movie in terms of of course uh, the uh, writing and of course the story for this movie. So, <coughs> excuse me for a second. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, right about now, I think uh, I think they did an incredible job with, of course, uh, what it's uh, trying to do. And, uh, and yeah, I think I know uh, hardly, yeah, I know there's uh, hardly a uh, Christmas uh, stuff uh, relating uh, to this uh, movie, but 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 thankfully they didn't uh, shove it in a whole lot. I think they only uh, kept it a little uh, minor for, of course, uh, for of course this movie. So yeah, but. But hey, I can't uh, fog it for that. Uh, if it's still trying to uh, be a really great Christmas movie, then I still think they uh, nailed it on the head right about now. So, so yeah, it's pretty much uh, what I can say uh, for those two. All right. So, of course, I'm stepping aside from all of that now that I've officially talked about them. I think I might as well go ahead and talk about the characters for sure. And I think I will have to uh, say... Uh, the characters in this uh, movie, they are incredibly likable uh, for uh, sure. And even some of the uh, ones uh, that I uh, do uh, hate, uh, nevertheless, uh, I think I just couldn't help. Uh, I think for the uh, characters uh, that I uh, that I love, I think I know I uh, like to uh, love them. And even uh, some uh, characters where, of course, I like to hate them for uh, sure. I think so. Yeah. I think uh, each and every one of them uh, are incredibly interesting, and they uh, really did pull off some really great character development, and even some uh, really great delivery as uh, as well, uh, to which I'll get to in, uh, in a big, uh, so... So yeah, I think with, of course, uh, with uh, what the uh, characters are uh, trying to do, I think they uh, really uh, nailed it uh, for uh, sure. I think with, of course, every single one of them that I've actually uh, seen on screen, I do care for them a whole lot. And and yeah, just a little uh, little itch on my head, but it's nothing to worry about. So so yeah, I think with, of course, uh, what uh, with uh, what they're trying to do for, of course, the characters in this uh, in this movie, they did an incredible job uh, right about now. Uh, not only uh, bringing some really great uh, character development, and of course, uh, yeah, but also some uh, really great uh, structure to, of course, uh, each and every uh, one of them, uh, which does make all of them all the more interesting for sure. So so yeah, and. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much uh, what I can say, but on top of, of course, uh, the uh, characters for sure, the actors in this movie, my god, they pulled off some really excellent uh, performances uh, right about now. I think I think this uh, movie is, uh, I think it's practically the best one I've seen, where of course it's incredibly well cast for uh, sure, so... So, yeah, I think with, of course, uh, each and every one of them, I think they uh, did really get the right people to, of course, uh, help uh, betray all these uh, characters uh, for sure. And, and, and yeah, I think uh, with, of course, uh, their, uh, their uh, performances for sure, they... I think they are incredibly well. I think uh, with, of course, uh, the uh, deliver uh, the uh, delivery of, of course, uh, these uh, performances. I actually uh, do uh, see. Uh, I do see that there's a whole lot of uh, great potential to them, and thankfully, that's exactly why I got for, of course, uh, this movie for uh, sure. So, so yeah, I will definitely uh, give uh, major props to, of course, uh, all the actors that, of course, uh, came on to, of course, uh, this movie. I just uh, really love the uh, way they uh, turned out. So. So yeah, it's uh, pretty much what I can say. All right. All right. So of course, uh, moving aside from of course uh, all that, I think I uh, might as well uh, get right on to the the other ones. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, another thing I should talk about is uh, what else? Well, oh yeah, the uh, the visuals were of course uh, this movie uh, right about now. Uh, I think I will have to say uh, in terms of actually uh, of uh, in terms of uh, visuals, I have to say. 
think they are really incredible uh, by far. I think with, of course, uh, everything from the uh, sets to, of course, uh, to the effects as well, uh, I think they are... I think they're all absolutely amazing, and they do look incredibly real to me. So, so yeah, I think with, of course, uh, what it's uh, trying to uh, do, I think it's, uh, I think uh, pretty much, uh, I think pretty much everything from, of course, uh, from uh, what I'm seeing, uh, from, of course, uh, yeah, once again, mainly uh, from the uh, sets, I think they actually uh, do uh, look incredibly real, uh, for sure, and even the, uh, even most of the effects are real, but now they do look incredibly believable, for sure, and, and, and yeah, plus I think I should mention right but now, according to uh, my research, this movie actually uh, have the uh, tendency to, of course, uh, combine both uh, stop motion and CGI for uh, sure, to which I think is uh, absolutely uh, incredible, and it actually fits well for, of course, uh, this movie, and I think it's almost uh, taking me back to, of course, uh, the Lego movie for sure, where, of course, uh, they incorporated CGI uh, while uh, making it look like stop motion for uh, sure, which... I will have to say is, of course, the best aspect of, of course, the Lego movie, and, but with, of course, uh, in the case of Jingle Jangle, however, the way they actually combined both stop motion and CGI, uh, for sure, I think they, uh, really, uh, nailed it uh, on the, uh, head on that one, because, uh, because when you see all the stuff that, uh, is stop motion, uh, you would actually believe it's really great stop motion, for, uh, sure, and, and of course, uh, not to mention uh, for uh, for it to uh, use CGI for sure, it's definitely the best one uh, by far. Like, uh, yeah, like of course, uh, when you actually uh, see the movie for yourself, you don't actually see uh, something made by computers. No, I think uh, from the way you actually see it, it does look incredibly real, and you really do feel like they're really there. So, so yeah, I guess it's a. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me for a second. Try my best to uh, clear my throat. So, so yeah, I think it's uh, mainly what I can say for, of course, the uh, the visual effects were, of course, uh, this movie. I think it's practically the best uh, ones I've actually uh, seen by far. I think I dare even say actually topping both Christmas Chronicles uh, movies for uh, sure. So, so yeah, it's uh, pretty much what I can say for, of course, uh, the visuals for this movie. And oh yeah, I think I should also mention this right, but now. Since I actually mentioned uh, pretty much a good majority of this uh, movie, right? But now there is one thing I can say that uh, really makes this uh, movie stand out, in my opinion. It's mainly the music and the song, so... So, yeah, I guess uh, right about now, uh, I guess, uh, if anything, I think uh, it is uh, trying to uh, go for a, a nice uh, musical uh, vibe with, of course, uh, what it's trying to do. In fact... In fact, it, I mean, it's actually uh, not really a surprising thing of how uh, it is, of course, a, a movie musical uh, in addition to that. And, and I think with, of course, uh, what they're trying to do with the music and the songs in this one, it is absolutely amazing. I think it's already uh, taking me back to, of course, uh, Over the Moon, to which I uh, already did a video on some time ago. And and the way it actually uh, presented itself with, of course, uh, yeah, for, of course, that film with, of course, in terms of the uh, music and the uh, songs, they actually uh, really did an incredible job on this one. But in the case of uh, Christmas, uh, in the, yeah, in the case of Jingle Jangle, however, uh, I think, uh, I guess if anything, the songs of this movie is absolutely amazing uh, by far, and I think they actually uh, do uh, fit in well with, of course, uh, what it's uh, trying to do, and, and even uh, the actors that I actually uh, mentioned earlier, they actually uh, did uh, pull off some uh, really great singing performances as well, and yeah, there was never one... There was never uh, one moment where, of course, uh, there uh, someone was actually singing pretty uh, terribly. No, all of them are actually uh, pitch perfect with, of course, uh, what they're uh, trying to do. And uh, and I think uh, with, of course, uh, the uh, good majority of the songs, I just really love uh, how peppy and upbeat they are. Uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and of course there are some uh, times where almost I uh, felt the urge to, of course, uh, dance along to, uh, to, of course, uh, these songs uh, for sure. So. So, yeah, I guess, uh, right about now, I absolutely really love the, uh, way they, uh, handle the music and the songs, and of course, uh, this movie, in fact, uh, in fact, I think I dare even say I, uh, almost want to, uh, get myself onto YouTube and actually look up the soundtrack for, of course, uh, this movie, and if there is, I'm definitely gonna have to, uh, put that, uh, onto, uh, iTunes for sure, and then burn it onto a CD just so that I can listen to it, uh, for sure. It is that great right about now, so... 
So, yeah, I guess if anything, I really love the music and the songs and, of course, uh, this movie. I think it's practically the best one. Uh, I think these are practically the best I've actually seen by far, so... So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much all what I can say. And, of course, uh, all the other stuff that I should mention as well. Like, of course, uh, the uh, directing from, of course, the uh, film's director. I think he actually uh, really did an incredible job with, of course, uh, what he's uh, done with, of course, uh, this movie. Uh, because, uh, yeah... And yeah, based on my research, he not only, of course, uh, directed this movie, but he also uh, wrote this uh, movie, uh, hands down, to which I guess it's no big surprise since I uh, mentioned the writing for, of course, uh, this movie. But but on top of, of course, uh, the uh, the writing for sure, I think the uh, film's directing by far it is absolutely incredible, and I just really love on uh, how well each scene has, of course, uh, turned out by far. And of course, I really love on uh, how incredible the cinematography uh, is, uh, as uh, everything actually uh, looks uh, incredibly well shot for uh, sure. And and of course, uh, the uh, film also, of course, uh, has some really nice uh, editing for sure, as of course, uh, it actually uh, blends into, of course, uh, each and every scene that actually turned out so. So yeah, with all that combined, I think they uh, actually did an incredible job with, of course, uh, what they're uh, trying to do for, of course, this movie. So yeah, which is, of course, the uh, main reason why I've actually uh, really liked this uh, movie, hands down. So, but however, I think if there's uh, one thing I can nitpick on this movie is that uh, for a film called Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey, there's not really much of a uh, journey uh, by far, uh, I mean, okay, don't get me wrong, uh, since I talked about the characters uh, earlier, the uh, one of our uh, main characters is named Journey, but I think there's uh, hardly uh, any uh, thing uh, relating to a journey for uh, sure, but, but hey, I, I'm sure they did the best they uh, could, and they wanted to keep the uh, focus on uh, what they're uh, trying to uh, do right about now, so, so yeah, I can't fault them uh, for uh, that right about now, so... But hey, with uh, what they're uh, trying to do right about now, I still think they uh, did incredibly well with, of course, uh, this uh, for what they're trying to do for this movie. So, so yeah, it's pretty much what I can say. All right. So yeah, I guess with uh, everything, I mean, everything that I uh, have to uh, say for a uh, sure, right? Uh, I guess overall, I absolutely love Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey right about now. I think it's, I think it's uh, practically the uh, best one I've actually uh, seen by far out of all the Christmas movies and specials that I uh, talked about for the past few days now, so... So, yeah, I guess, uh, if anything, I think it, uh, I know it still technically doesn't, uh, scream Christmas all the way through, but there is a bit of a Christmas joy to it, uh, for sure, that you can actually, uh, watch and enjoy on top of everything else that you could, uh, see, uh, through, uh, this movie right about now, so... Yeah, and of course, uh, if I ever uh, do have uh, little kids and they uh, want to uh, watch something uh, that is Christmas related that uh, can uh, engage them all the way through, I would definitely put this uh, movie on for uh, sure. So, so yeah, I guess uh, right about now, I guess there's nothing much else I could say uh, except for the fact that uh, Jingle Jangle, A Christmas Journey is by far the best Christmas movie I've actually uh, seen by far. I think uh, with everything from the uh, story, from the writing, to the characters and the actors, and even, of course, the visuals and the uh, music and the songs, and everything about it makes this movie a really incredible one for sure. So, so yeah, if you uh, got the time, then I... Yeah, yeah, and of course, if you want to see this movie for yourself, then then don't worry about a thing. It's uh, currently available on Netflix for uh, sure. So, so yeah, if you got the time, definitely watch this movie for sure. Trust me when I say you're gonna be in for a blast once you actually uh, see this one. So, so yeah, for my final score, right? But now I'm of course going to give this movie a really, really, really solid 9.5 out of 10. So yeah, I think it's uh, practically much higher than, of course, uh, the uh, other ones that I uh, talked about before, but I guess it's uh, definitely, uh, I think it's uh, not only the uh, best movie I've actually seen in my entire life, but it's actually the best Christmas movie I've actually seen in my entire life, so... So, yeah, like I said, if you uh, got the time, definitely uh, fire up Netflix and see this movie for yourself. Trust me when I say that once you do, you will actually know how to believe, so... So, yeah, that's pretty much what I can say. Alright. 
So yeah, that's uh, pretty much about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this latest thoughts video, and, uh, and let me know in the comment section below if you have seen Jingle Jangle A Christmas Journey and what you thought about it, as well as, of course, uh, leaving me constructive criticism and or advice on how I can improve my videos in the near future. And of course, as uh, always, feel free to send me an email if you want to uh, ask me any questions, or if you just want to book me for a con or event that'll be coming up very, very soon. Uh, follow me on my social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and plenty of other social media sites that I have provided with, of course, all the links down in the uh, description box below. And of course, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, then give it a massive thumbs up as it really does help this channel out. And of course, uh, speaking of my channel, feel free to us uh, uh, to uh, subscribe to it if you haven't already, as well as turn on the notification bell and select all notifications if you want to keep up to date with me with each and every single new video that I do. So, so yeah, that's pretty much about it. Thank you guys so much for uh, watching this latest thoughts video, and thank you all so much for, of course, uh, all the incredible uh, votes uh, that I got uh, on, of course, uh, these movies and specials. Uh, hang even on this incredible journey to, of course, uh, talk about uh, all of them in a row. So, so yeah, definitely for, of course, the uh, next uh, thoughts video. And uh, with, of course, the exception of, of course, uh, my review on the live-action Mulan remake, to which I uh, talked about uh, a couple days ago, uh, for sure. Right? We are definitely going to get ourselves back to normal uh, right about now. Uh, where, of course, uh, we'll, of course, uh, talk about uh, probably a... Uh, Probably a few more uh, things that we uh, need to talk about. Like, of course, I uh, got, like, uh, another uh, movie that I would love to uh, take a look at, uh, but I won't reveal uh, what it is exactly. I've actually got a fan request that I uh, need to, of course, uh, that I need to uh, take up on uh, and actually uh, go from there. And, of course, not to mention, I gotta finish where I started with, of course, uh, my uh, anime marathon by taking a look at The Rising of the Shield Hero. So... So yeah, that's my goal before uh, Christmas. Uh, watch and review The Rising of the Shield Hero for sure. So, so yeah, I know I'm definitely going to be uh, looking forward to uh, that, but we'll just have to leave that for the uh, future to uh, decide. But but I am keeping my promises for sure. So so yeah, but I guess until then, given to uh, what I'm wearing uh, right here, but now, I need to... Uh, Excuse me for a second. I think I need to uh, definitely uh, get myself uh, fully prepared for, of course, uh, for, of course, uh, the uh, Christmas uh, season for, of course, uh, this year. So, so, yeah, but still, yeah, whatever the uh, case, despite all these uh, difficult times right about now, I'm definitely looking forward to it for sure. So, so, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll uh, leave you at that. So, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.